It's the day before our anniversary. I have this camera out because I have no idea where we're going, but Anne's always full of surprises. We got married February 1st, 2020. So that's our marriage anniversary. You know, the day I asked you to be mine was like that day. You know what I mean? Like if it wasn't for that day, the marriage day would have never came. So I always appreciate this day more, well tomorrow more, yeah. than our wedding. So I don't know if that's a bad thing. But it's, it's not a bad not thing because I feel like, of course, our wedding is beautiful and it means a lot. But we got married so fast. We were out of college and we just like picked a day and we didn't even plan. My mom threw a wedding in a week and we made it happen, right? So it's special, of course. But like Aunt was saying, we are high school sweethearts and he asked me out we always consider like that's our date literally tomorrow it's gonna be 11 years that we've been together legally we've been married for three years this year was three years of being married but we've actually been together for 11 years years that's literally over a decade and like one third of my lifetime literally like actually like almost half of my life it's crazy i'm just kind of curious on what aunt got up his sleeve because this is what he told me we're going to a restaurant with a nice sunset good food the baby we dropped him off at my mom's and we will be picking him up later tonight once we're done so we just dropped him off for dinner oh my gosh i'm kind of nervous but i'm excited to um celebrate today oh we have arrived yay I love this restaurant. All right, y'all. So we are here in the restaurant. Anna went to go put our names down for a table. Let me just show you guys real quick. So like Anna said, today's the day before her anniversary. So I'm going to be surprising her with this ring that I got. And I also got her another gift that I'm going to be surprising her with tomorrow on the actual day of our anniversary. So I can't wait to see how she reacts when I give her this ring. And when I surprise her in the morning with her big gift. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to put this camera away before she catches me. Baby, this is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I don't know, something about like sunsets and water that just makes me so happy. It's so beautiful. Okay, I got you something. This ring is super special because I can only ever buy one for one person in a lifetime. So it's a symbol of how much I love and appreciate everything that you do. Oh my gosh, y'all. Anthony just surprised me with this ring and it's so beautiful. <gasps> Look at the sunset and the palm trees. Everything's so perfect. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the food is finally oh out. Oh my Look goodness. Y'all, one thing about us, we're gonna eat. <laughs> Look, we got the shrimp with this sauce, crack is wax shrimp, that's what they call it. And then I got my virgin pina colada, I love virgin pina colada. And then I got my Caesar salad over here. And then we got some potatoes. Steak. Anthony got his, what is that, 22 ounce? 22 ounce. Oh my god. Y'all, he always gets like the biggest steak there is. Literally broccoli. the biggest steak, broccoli. Oh, and yeah, he eats chicken. it all. And he got chicken wings. This I man, you gonna eat all that food? Yes. Oh my gosh. And then of course it's A1 sauce. And we're enjoying this beautiful view over here. Y'all look how gorgeous. So now we're gonna eat it up. Talk about our 11 years together. Oh my God, that's crazy, 11 years? <laughs> it's almost midnight, y'all. So it's almost the 12. Not yet, but it's almost the 12. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. A nap? Wow. I thought you were supposed to watch a movie with me. Oh, you wanna watch a movie? No, I don't. It's fine. Right, no, down. it's fine. <laughs> it was such a beautiful night, y'all. And we're like the last people here. Like everyone's gone. We have this place to ourselves. But I really enjoyed dance. Yeah, let's dance. Let's get out of here before we get kicked out. <laughs> morning y'all so i just woke up anna is still downstairs sleeping we had an amazing time last night but today is officially our 11th anniversary y'all can't believe it's already been 11 years with the love of my life and i'm just so grateful for today i had to wake up earlier than her today because i'm gonna be surprising her with her anniversary gift i wanted to surprise her in bed so i had to wake up super early today so i think i told you guys this before but anna is really not the type of girl to spoil herself so i have to do it for her and the thing is y'all 
I've been holding on to this gift for a couple of months now, y'all. And to be honest, it's been kind of stressful because I'm always worried if she's gonna find it or not. But luckily, she has not found it. So with that being said, I'm super excited to surprise her with her gift today. And I cannot wait to see her reaction. So I'm gonna grab her gift, go downstairs, and we're gonna surprise my baby. Let's get it. Good morning, babe. Good morning, Elijah. You guys are up already? Elijah, you know it's been 11 years I've been with mommy. 11 years? Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> you were born. <laughs> He's so smiley this morning. Yeah, he is. He woke up in a good mood. Anyways, babe, I got something for you. So I know it's our anniversary, and I know we said we weren't going to get each other gifts, but... I want to give you gifts. I had to get you something. What is it? Alright, close your eyes. No. This is probably a prank. No, close your eyes. Elijah, is that you trying to prank us? Elijah, be your eyes. Just close your eyes for five seconds. Okay. All right, open your eyes. What the? Anthony, no way. Open it. Do you even know what it is? Yes. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Is it? Oh my God. I don't yeah, think you know what, what the it is. Heck, bro? <laughs> Goodness. Uh, hold on, baby. Your dad's crazy. I swear this is a prank. No! <laughs> no way! Open it. Elijah! Daddy has lost his mind. <laughs> yeah, Daddy has lost his mind. How did I lose my mind? See, I told y'all, Anna does not like to spoil herself, but she deserves it. Like, I don't Babe, know. but this is like, I feel like I'm gonna open the box and something else is gonna be in there. Maybe. Help me open it, the ribbon. It might be a prank. not be real life if i open this box and something oh well, you gotta find out the only way to find out is to open it oh my goodness i'm scared elijah's like what's in the box open the box I'm mom so scared. happy anniversary oh my god this is the suspense baby the suspense oh my god Bags on bags on bags. <laughs> oh my goodness. You like it? Yes, I love <laughs> Is this my real? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Elijah, look. Look. Look what daddy got us. Oh, well, got me. <laughs> Anthony, how much was this? You deserve this in the entire world, baby. Oh my God, no, but for real, like you did not have to do this thing for real. Let me help you. This is how you know, like it's too expensive for me. I don't even know how to open it. And then you just pull the handles apart. Oh my God. Ah! Birkin? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So there's a lock and key that you can put. It's like an accessory. It makes the bag look really nice, but you gotta put it on. Oh it's my really goodness, nice. Elijah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have the key to my heart. How much was this, bro? Like, I'm not gonna tell you how much it is. Stop asking me how much it is oh, and just enjoy the bag. Beautiful, babe. Isn't like Birkin bags made out of alligator? It's alligator, crocodile. Crocodile? No. That's what it was. Crocodile. No. Oh my god. <gasps> That's so made in France. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful, babe. I'm glad you like it. You deserve it, babe. I love you. But do you really like the bag though? Do you, I like I the thought bag. the red would fit you. Oh, you know, I know you spicy, so. Spicy mama sita. No, I love the bag. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I can't believe I have a birthday. No, but really, thank you so much, baby. You're you welcome. This. I want to put the lock on though. For real. I'll, help you you, I'll help you put it on. I can't wrap my head around this. Like, pinch me right now. This is mine. That's all you do. This is me. That's all you do. Oh my God, Elijah. Is this real life? Yes, yeah, man. Pinch me right now, this is real life. It's real life. Pinch me right now, this is real oh life. Oh my God, it's real life. <laughs> so mission the successful. Surprise, Anna. You always do the right there. You really didn't have to do this. It's, baby, crazy. it's not a big deal. Like I said, you deserve it. Is it is a huge. This I'm man grateful. keeps saying it's not a big deal. You I'm just so got me a grateful. Birkin. Do you know what I'm that so means? Grateful. You know what that right. means, though? You got me a freaking birthday. You're crazy. I love you. 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 I love you
monkey more. Oh my goodness, daddy's crazy. Daddy's so crazy. Oh my god, y'all, this man, I, I can't. Like, I appreciate my husband so much, but he is wild, y'all. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my bag and I'm so grateful. This is beautiful. I've never even owned something close to this. Like, this is crazy. Just take care of it, baby. That's the only thing I have. Oh, I'm definitely gonna take care of it, baby. It's beautiful and I was not expecting this. This is insane. And I just wanna thank you so much, babe. And oh my god, okay, I'm trying not to make it a big deal. <laughs> Tell mommy to just accept her gift. No, I'm accepting my gift, babe. It's just like kind of wild to me. But come here, baby. So, thank you so much for my beautiful bag. I love you, and I just want you to know that no bag or no gift like never compare to you and my son. You guys are my best gifts ever and i love y'all so much i feel you mm. i feel you on that thing he's like a wiggle worm but he is he moves so much i just woke up so yeah. mind my face out. yeah we look, look a mess right now it's early i look in the crazy morning. it's too early for this but i need some coffee i, I want listen. Some breakfast. oh yeah i'm a little worried yeah. <laughs> oh, babe, i just yeah. should know that i have something planned for us today really yeah what you got planned? I made some reservations. Where? <sighs> I can't tell you because it's a surprise, but just okay. know it's gonna be meaningful and you're gonna love it and it's gonna be fun. Okay. And <laughs> this little guy. Where are we going? Where are we going today? <laughs> As mommy, where are we going? So it's gonna be fun. Mm. What is it about? Like, huh? are we gonna go eat or? You'll see, you'll see. But just know it's gonna be really fun. And okay. Be good. And it's something different. You know, I like to do different things. Okay. So I need you to get ready. And I'm gonna get ready too. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get the baby ready. But the baby's gonna stay with Cam because it's adult only. It's like an adult only thing. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna not be anything weird. It's not. Oh my God, I love my purse. Anyway, okay. So I'm gonna get ready, y'all. Uh, I'm still kind of shook. I can't believe my husband did this for me. Like, that's insane. A Birkin bag is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of tired, so I had to wake up way before you so I can get everything. So together. when did he even plan this? Like, about three months ago, bro. I've been had it, but I've been hiding it here from you. Oh my god, that's crazy. I know I was telling y'all a little bit about our anniversary yesterday when we were going out to dinner, but me and this man have been together for 11 years, y'all. Like, that's a long time. So I was 16 and he was 15 when we started dating. If you guys are new here, welcome, first of all. And then I want to tell you a little bit of our story while Elijah drinks his bottle. Yeah. This is how his dad pieces his bottle. Are you trying? <laughs> You're so funny. It works. It works. I guess it works. Oh my God, I can't with y'all. So when I was 16, I had to do community service hours in order to graduate from high school. So I happened to do my community service hours at a daycare. Which I worked at that daycare. Yeah, Anthony was working in that daycare. And then I walk in, I see this really cute guy. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like, he's oh my actually God, don't cute. Do that. Yeah, I was like, he's actually cute, but I'm not gonna lie, y'all. And I'm gonna be completely honest. At that time, I wasn't looking to do nothing serious. I was just wanting to have like a little summer boyfriend. It was summertime. So I was, I've been single for like a long time. So I was like, you know what? I'm How long have, were you single for? I don't know, but like, I think like a year I was like single. Uh -huh. And I was like, you know, I want to have that's, a little. I, that's crazy. I never asked you that. How long you were single? Yeah. I was like, I want to have a little summer boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? But like, I wasn't even thinking about like getting into a relationship. You know, it was more like, you know, when you're in that stage where you're like flirting and stuff, like, you know, I guess it was going to be something like that. But this man wouldn't even acknowledge me. Like I would walk in the daycare and he wouldn't even look at me or I was nothing. trying to chase the paper. Wow. I was working. <laughs> No, he was really respectful. And that's one thing that really stood out to me. Cause I was like, okay, why is he not even acknowledging me? Like I wasn't used to that y'all. Like, and it's not like I was the prettiest girl in the world or nothing like that, what? but. Have you seen a mirror? Stop maybe? it. I wasn't like full of myself or conceited or anything, but at the time, you know, in high school, I was used to like guys approaching me like, oh, what's up? Like, you know, here's my number. Like kind of trying to hit on me, like trying to talk. And this man would not even acknowledge me. So I'm like, okay, it, like what's going on here? Like, is he not feeling me? Cause I'm feeling him, but like he's cute, but I guess he don't think I'm cute. So I tried to make myself like noticeable a few times and he wouldn't even look at me. Wow. And until one time, y'all. This was July. I didn't realize. Wow. <laughs> this okay. So this was July, and then one day we were in the kitchen. Oh my baby. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Uh, he just woke up. Uh, 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 so much goes to sleep. Or 
this is just my baby like mm-hmm. 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 oh my god elijah's so funny he'd be doing that sometimes like he'd be getting up and then drinking his bottle and then he'd go right back to sleep an hour and he'd be like goes to sleep y'all he's so funny it's a big baby looking hey i don't do that to go to sleep there you go <laughs> so anyways back to our little story one day literally we were in the kitchen we were both in the kitchen one time because we were in a daycare so i forgot what i had to do i think i had to like make a kid's plate or something and i don't know why he was in there but y'all turned out to be we're in the kitchen and i was mopping oh you were i was mopping and the thing is i i do remember this part i turn around and he turns around at the same time and we bump into each other like we literally bumped into she, each other I, she accidentally bumped into me bruh don't do that, baby don't do that and i was like oh my god and he was like oh sorry and i was like no it's okay and then he asked me he's like what's your name and i was like anna maria and he's like oh that's pretty and i was like what's your name and he's like anthony then someone was like anthony like screamed his name i guess they needed him and he's like oh i gotta go i gotta go and like he had to leave so we couldn't like really talk that time but we knew each other's names and then the next day we started like talking and like we exchanged numbers it's okay. weird to think like there's a time we didn't know each other i know there was one time that we were sh complete strangers and now like you mean the world That's to me so weird. That is. i love you baby <sighs> so anyway i'm sorry y'all this is like a really like mushy video <laughs> Like, it's our 11th year anniversary is what you guys get yeah we're just remembering <laughs> y'all click on it that's what y'all get listen every love story is beautiful but ours is my favorite okay i'm being corny right now but anyways okay so we bumped into each other we basically met right there and then like we didn't talk and then we exchanged numbers like the next day and then we started talking mind you i didn't really know him that well but we connect we instantly connect and the next day, like we were literally together the whole entire day at the daycare. Like I had to work on one side with like the smaller kids and he had to work on the other side with the bigger kids. But we somehow like managed to just spend the whole day together and like still working, it was weird. And I felt like an instant connection. Like, I don't know about you, but I felt like an instant connection. And I was like, oh my God, like I really like this guy. And like in my head, like, I don't know, but do you remember how you felt? I remember feeling like that when I first looked eyes on you. Yeah, cause when we bumped into each other, like our eyes locked and we were literally like this close to each other like this was me and this was him and our eyes were like connected that was crazy it gives me like goosebumps till now but yeah so we were together like i felt a connection and then the next day after that so it was like mind you we bumped into each other and then like two days later um i remember it was like almost time to go home and like the kids were getting ready to like you know get picked up and stuff and he held my hand and do you remember what you said that day to me babe? Yeah, i was like will you be my girlfriend and i was like yeah sure and then i was like wait did i just say yes you know this is where the confusion always happens and then it's like yeah you just said yes and i'm like i guess i'm your girlfriend and then anthony till this day says i don't think i said that i'm like you said that you were like yeah you okay. said yes no if i said that that's fine <laughs> but you always said that i said yeah you said yes and you can't go back or like you can't change it you said i said something like that you said I would something never like say that. that you said something but you, you probably asked me because I, I just say yes and i was like yeah you say yes but, but I, I wasn't like oh you said it that's it you're done like get with me forever for 11 years <laughs> oh like i remember because I, I was so in shock and when he asked me to be his girlfriend like i liked him but i felt like i didn't know him well enough to say yes like you don't just meet someone and start dating them but like, how that's are you weird. looking for a summer relationship <laughs> 
But like you, you want time to know them first. Well, know. what I'm saying is like I was trying to look for like a summer fling, like you know, like have a little boyfriend, like have like company, go to the movies. You know what I'm saying? Like have a friend, basically, not like a serious relationship. I was mm-hmm. not looking for that. But the good thing about me and Aunt, it's like we literally went like through phases. So we didn't even know each other. When he asked me out, I was like shook. I was like, yeah, sure. And then I was like, wait, did I just say? Like I literally realized I was like, did I just say yes? And he's like, yeah, you just said yes. And I'm like, oh my god. So we started dating and y'all we've never looked back since the rest is history it's been 11 freaking years mm-hmm. since that day i cannot believe july 12 11 years ago july 12 2012 he asked me to be his girl and after that we just became the best friends like literally the best friends we did everything together we went through high school together my parents were strict so i couldn't really see him over the weekend at all like we could only see each other during school and then we finally finished high school we went to college together to miami and then after that we got married and then after that we just moved and the story in. continues and then we had elijah and now we're currently here like <laughs> so the cool. story y'all it's wild one day i have to really sit down and tell y'all like all of our stories we have so many stories to tell y'all i mean i feel so, like we talked about a lot of stuff though, right? we've had but we haven't yeah. done recently so if y'all want like a recent like recent, video maybe the story don't change <laughs> no but what i'm saying like we uploaded a video a long time ago like saying a little bit of our story but we didn't really go into depth so like if y'all I want like a q a video or something where if we y'all actually... want anna to like open her mind and express all her memories and go through her inception it's not only my (laughs) memories daddy it's yours so y'all my parents did not approve of our relationship for like two years i had to literally hide our relationship and i got in trouble so many times because of him and i I, didn't do anything well i know but just the fact that i was with you they did not approve if y'all want to hear that story time let me know in the comments and we'll like make that's probably why their grandchild looks just like me They didn't like you, no, now they they have a grandkid that looks just like you. That's oh, hilarious. That's the thing is that love always wins, and mm-hmm. what's meant to be will always Indeed. find its way. What's for you is already written, no matter what. Like God already has a purpose and a plan, and we were just kids, literally. We were just yeah. two 15, 16 year old kids that didn't really know life and didn't really know the true meaning of love. And then we just met and we fell in love and we figured everything out together and we learned everything. There was a lot of ups and downs, but- No matter how bad it got, it's all worth it. Yeah. And no relationship is perfect, Mm -hmm. but if you both love each other, you guys will make it work. And you know, it's compromise, it's communication, love, like just love is so powerful. And God, of course, yes. Keeping God in the center of everything. Yes. Yes. Okay, but I want I'm, I don't want to get emotional today because today's a happy day, so yeah. I'll I'm leave my take stories. A nap, though, real quick before I I was gonna get ready and stuff, but babe, I had to take a nap. <sighs> like father, <sighs> like son. You see, um, you see. I, when I'm up, I'm up. Like I'm ready to start my day. Um, um, <laughs> son had to take a nap. Now daddy got to take a nap. Um, Your girl's gonna go get ready. Where we're going, um, you can't get super dressed up, babe, because you might get dirty. Oh, so can I go on this? That's like your pajamas. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta like dress up. Like, not dress up, like <laughs> just wear something that you don't mind getting dirty. Like I cannot Whoa, take my Birkin bag. Going? Listen, we're going somewhere where I you didn't sound so I can't dirty. take my Birkin bag because I don't want to get it dirty. So just get dressed and let's get our day started. I'm gonna let you sleep for a little bit and then I'll wake you up in about what like 15 minutes, 20 minutes? 30. <laughs> Just know y'all that I love my husband so much and I'm so blessed and I love my family and I'm so thankful to God. God is so amazing. Like, I don't know why, like, he'd be blessing me like this. I don't even deserve all of this. this. Okay, let me stop. I love (laughs) y'all. Talk to y'all in a little bit.